a warm greetings. Myself, I am Dr. K. Vengrajanam, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchango, Namakkal. We are going to see the connected set. M, Rho be a metric space and M is a metric space and A is a subset of metric space. Then yes, the subset of A satisfied the two properties. First property is non-empty set A1 and A2 of metric space such that A1 union A2 equal to A comma closer of A1 intersection A2 equal to empty and A1 intersection A2 closer of A2 equal to pi and then second property is uh, metric space A comma rho then no expect of the set A and pi which is both open and closed then A is connected next we see the theorem the subset of A and R dash is connected if and only if whenever A belongs to capital A, B belongs to capital A with A less than B. Then we have to prove that C belongs to A for any C such that open interval A comma B belongs to C. That is Whenever A belongs to A, comma B belongs to A, then A comma o, open interval A comma B contained in the subset of A. Proof. First, suppose that A contained in R dash and there exists a A belongs to capital A, B belongs to capital A with A less than B. The number of C belongs to R power 1 minus A with interval C belongs to open interval A comma B. Next, let us take that A is not connected. If we let A1 and A2 set, we take it. A1 equal to A intersection minus infinity comma C. A2 set equal to A intersection open interval C comma infinity. Then A equal to A1 union A2. If X belongs to closer of A, then we definition of closer X is a limit, limit of sequence of number minus infinity comma C. Then we have to prove X less than or equal to C. Hence X doesn't belong to A2. Next we prove that a closer of A1 intersection A2 equal to empty. The condition automatically similarly A1 intersection closer of A2 equal to empty. Then we prove A is not connected. Now we will stop. Take as A is not connected. Then there is non-empty subset of A1 and A2. And A equal to A1 union A2, comma, closer of A1 intersection A2 equal to empty. That is A1 intersection closer of A2. Next, we choose any one of the point A1 belongs to A1, comma, A2 belongs to capital A2. Then, point A1 under A2 not equal to. And, we, we assumed that A1 less than A2. Next we saw that A does not contain it in small A1 comma A2. Let we choose the set B. B, B be the set of all X belongs to capital A such that close interval X belongs to A1 comma A2. That is B equal to A1 intersection A, A1 comma A2. Then B is a bounded non-empty set of real numbers. 
already we know that if A is any non-empty subset of R that is bounded above, then A has, A has a least upper bound in R that is has a least upper bound of closure of A. Now we, now closure of A belongs to capital B closure. Hence, B containing A1, we have closure of A containing A1 closure. Hence, we have to prove hence the closure of A doesn't belong to A2. Then, A closure of A belongs to open interval A1, A2. So that A not contained in A1, A2. In other hand, closure of A belongs to the subset of A. Then, closure of A not equal to the subset of A1. Hence, A is a, a closure of A is a not limit point of A2. Hence, there is a number C with closure of A less than C less than A2 such that C doesn't belong to A2. Automatically, we proved that A1 less than C less than A2. This proves that A doesn't not contain to A1, A2. Thank you.